Heath Engelbeck, Principal, Salmon Creek Elementary School here, just coming to you from my office. Just recently, we had a hashtag challenge on Twitter between the Salmon Creek staff and the staff at Washington Elementary School. I've got to say, the teachers at Salmon Creek did an amazing job. The goal was to highlight all of the great things we're doing at Salmon Creek to support students and student success and learning. And you can search the hashtag Husky Learning on Twitter to catch all of the details and great things that were happening here at Salmon Creek. Um, the whole purpose of that was, was we live in a connected society. You know, think of Facebook and social networking. We are developing what we call professional learning networks, uh, where teachers are communicating with other teachers. We had teachers who weren't even at Salmon Creek asking our teachers about how they did things that they saw in the classroom, which was great. It's all about developing a network of teachers and that are growing and learning to support your child's um, individual growth in the classroom. And, uh, you know, that connecting piece with kids. Just the other day I had a kid, uh, Brooke, you know who you are, uh, followed me on YouTube. Um, one of the reasons why I did a YouTube channel for these videos, uh, it's where they're stored because YouTube is a place that a lot of our kids go to. Um, that's how they connect. And so it's, it's all about connecting where the kids are. Um, and, uh, you know, YouTube is a big thing with kids. I know personally I use YouTube to learn a ton of things as an adult, uh, in my own life, whether it's doing a complete brake job on my car or um, many other facets. It's, it's a place that I go to for information. The next thing I really want to to you, you to think about this month is a thing called bias toward action. Some people call it a bias for action. What this means is um, that uh, you're action oriented. So you have an idea or you're doing something and you quickly um, go to action. Now that doesn't mean you're reckless. That doesn't mean that you are making uninformed decisions. It means that you quickly move to action. Now you've got to do the background pieces to make sure that, that uh, the action piece is, is appropriate and safe and, and, and uh, you know directed toward the goal that you're looking or the outcome that you're looking for. Um, but the big thing that bias towards action helps is creating that place of uncomfortableness we do it with our kids every day at school that, that when a kid is feeling a little bit uncomfortable with math, that means they're growing and they're stretching. It's not um, old information. It's something that's new. And anytime you learn something new, there's a sense of being uncomfortable. Uh, you know, our kids today are uh, challenged in a world with a lot of um, pressures from all different directions. Uh, that we may not have had when we were growing up um, and we often forget about uh, their constant state of uh, flux or learning that's happening every day and one of the things we can do is move towards that for ourselves and constantly look for new ways to grow and learn um, and take action for those areas um, so one of the things we've got uh, going on that, that I did, I quickly took action on, uh, was around blended learning. And we've got six teachers who are doing some work around blended learning. That's a, a way to really support engagement of kids in their learning and some ownership. Um, and that was something that I personally uh, had a bias towards action on. Um, and I think we're seeing some great outcomes in those classrooms. Um, they're all in third through fifth grade because you've got some one-to-one -one devices which supports that. Uh, and I'm hoping you, you too, go ahead and Google it, bias toward actions and do some reading. Um, and I'd love to hear what you guys think about uh, bias towards action in your own life and in your kids. Until next time, Mr. Engelbeck out.